thoughts and images that I have made. My thoughts and images, my thoughts and images, is my thoughts and images that I have made. My thoughts and images that I have made. My thoughts and images that I have made. My thoughts and images, my thoughts and images. Lesson 15 in A Course in Miracles. My thoughts are images that I have made. It is because the thoughts you think you think appear as images that you do not recognize them as nothing. You think you think them, and so you think you see them. This is how your scene was made. This is the function you have given your body's eyes. It is not seen. It is image-making. It takes the place of seen, replacing vision with illusions. This introductory idea to the process of image-making that you call seen will not have much meaning for you. You will begin to understand it when you have seen little edges of light around the familiar objects which you see now. That is the beginning of real vision. You can be certain that real vision will come quickly when this has occurred. As we go along, you may have many light episodes. They may take many different forms, some of them quite unexpected. Do not be afraid of them. They are signs that you are opening your eyes at last. They will not persist because they merely symbolize true perception, and they are not related to knowledge. These exercises will not reveal knowledge to you, but they will prepare the way to it. In practicing the idea for today, repeat it first to yourself and then apply it to whatever you see around you, using its names and letting your eyes rest on it as you say, this blank is an image that I have made. That blank is an image that I have made. It is not necessary to include a large number of specific subjects for the application of today's idea. It is necessary, however, to continue to look at each subject while you repeat the idea to yourself. The idea should be repeated quite slowly each time. Although you will obviously not be able to apply the idea to very many things during the minute or so of practice that is recommended, try to make the selection as random as possible. Less than a minute will do for the practice periods if you begin to feel uneasy. Do not have more than three application periods for today's idea unless you feel completely comfortable with it and do not exceed four. However, the idea can be applied as needed throughout the day. Thoughts of 
And now for the reflection on Lesson 15. For the first time, Jesus is giving us an idea of what true vision will be like. He refers to light episodes where we'll begin to see light around the edges of familiar objects. But he's also sure to make sure that we know not to stop there or to think that there's any true value to this. In other words, we're not to think that we're in graduate school or a Ph.D. program when we're really in third grade. This is just the beginning. This is how we begin to see things as they really are, to let go of the past and to realize that my thoughts have made everything that I have seen now and that that was not true seeing. There is a way of seeing now that links us to the real world, not the world of illusions. And all of these beginning exercises and lessons are meant to bring us into that holy sight. So if you to begin to have these these light episodes to see these uh, these lights around familiar objects. Enjoy it, relax, but know that you have taken a first step toward the real world. <laughs> 